Perfect place for a cup of tea, that is. Right, so I've got a cup of tea, got a knife, I've got an Arai Tor X4, and an Arai Tor X5. Let's get this puppy open, of course. I've been wanting to get this open for ages. And I've saved it for you guys. So, as you know, this has been a long time coming, this lid. And there's a lot of excitement about it. And uh, I believe one of the first ones to own it. Yay! Right, hang on a second, get rid of that box. Right, so this is the Arai Tor X5. Look at that, look at that. Undoubtedly one of the best in its class. Oh, I like the bag. The bag's different to my one. I need to save this box because, although that this lid is um, the diamond white version, it's going away to be custom painted. Comes with the Pinlock 120 XLT, extra light transmission. So we should see about that. Get off me. One of the things I've, um, or should I say the only thing I dislike about this lid, I love everything about it, other than the fact that the visor is an absolute nightmare to get the pinlock right, because there's no um, inset for the pinlock, and with it being so angular, it can be a real pain in the ass to get right. But I love that lid. I've done a lot in it, as you know. I've done a lot of miles in it, and it's been it's been great apart from that. But now it's time to look at the new one. It's not even Christmas. Not long though. Oh, it smells good. Here she is. Oh, look at that. I like it. I like it. The brand new Arai Tor X5. Oh, I've been looking forward to getting this. Totally redesigned. I think the, um, the new one is slightly, slightly heavier than the old one. I'm going to refer to some of my notes here. Well, that actually says on the, there that this is 1700 grams, including accessories. Okay, well that makes this lighter than this then, because this is 1710 grams. So as you can see, it's got a completely new peak on it. New exhaust ports at the back. And now the visor is quick release, which is amazing because it used to be, you've got two clips either side there on your visor and peak, and you have to take the peak off to get the visor off. So you have to take all this out. Now, apparently with this one, it's now a matter of moving a couple of clips. One of the strongest shells that you can buy. Fully removable lining. Now, there's already a little Velcro patch there for your mic, which is amazing. Nice little chin curtain. Yeah, undoubtedly one of the best helmets in its class. And there's a lot of love for this brand and um, model in particular. Um, and the reason they are so expensive is because each unit is handmade in Japan. Even down to the um, the graphics, it's all handmade. The visor's less pointy than the old one. 
So there's, like I said before, there's more chance uh, getting a really decent seal with the pin lock. Yeah, I can see the indentation there on the visor. That's that's so welcome, so welcome. Amazingly quiet. We shall see. I'll obviously be talking a lot about this lid in the upcoming months. Um, but literally, it's just a ride. I've got to kit it out yet with the microphones and stuff. But what I might actually do is just stick a lav mic in without a camera on the lid and put um, my front facing camera on. We'll just go out for a ride and I can talk about the lid and how it feels. But by all accounts, it's, it's a big improvement over the X4, which is already up there. I just think if they've sorted the visor issue with this, this is gonna be the perfect lid because like I say, I love this one. First, uh impressions straight away first things i've noticed first observations this is something another thing again with the visor that gets on my nerves with the x4 is um when you when you lift the visor up it kind of just hovers up here and it slowly falls down but it just it's never it never like holds itself up as this look watch do you hear that little click that's it that's loads better. In fact, I'll show you in comparison. See this? And it, over time, it just falls down. Right, that's the pin lock fitted. I cannot believe how easy it is to remove the visor and peak. I'm going to um, tell you all about that in a minute when we go out on that. Right, we're out on the road. First road test for this brand new Arai Tour X5. I've been looking forward to this for such a long time. And it's been kind of dangled like a carrot for such a long time too. You'll notice I haven't got any forward-facing camera on yet because the helmet has literally just arrived. Literally just arrived. I want to get out and give it a very, very, very quick road test. You'll notice also that I am on Pan America. What are we doing? 1250 Special. That'll come in a different video. This one is all about the Tour X5. Well, my first impressions, regardless of what's been written in the press, are not only does it look incredible when you see it in the flesh you can tell that it's of such a high quality and Arai are you know, renowned for, a, for being sticklers really for quality that's why they don't have a sun visor because they just refuse to compromise on integrity the outer shell is that strong made up of um, Arai's own special uh, composite fibres it's said to be 40% stronger than um, normal glass fibers and they also their EPS the lining inside or a styrene lining inside is also all right the only people to make it out of one piece with all different densities whereas other brands just use it in several pieces and stick them together all right blended the one piece and, and that's not only uh, more expensive to do but hard to do and I, I hate things like this how the hell do you get something that's in one piece the inner piece inside the outer piece when it's already so strong I hate it when you you know you, you can't get your hand in somewhere because it's too big or there's something that's not you can't quite squeeze it in how they do that i don't know yeah so if the sound's not what it usually is today it's because i've not rigged my mic up or anything yet obviously no camera no intercom no mic fitted all I've done is fixed a lavalier mic to an audio recorder in my pocket, so hopefully that'll be all right for you. Going back to first impressions, everything about it has been completely redesigned. But the view through the visor is, it's so wide. The visor is so much better, so much better. And that's one of the things that I um, dislike about the X4. I love everything about the lid, and I, I really do like that lid, but the visor, is such a royal pain in the ass. One, it's a nightmare to get the pin lock working properly. 
because the visor is just one sheet and it's so angular that it just makes it really hard and there's no um there's no like pocket for the pin lock where in this there's like a little pocket already cut out of the visor for the pin lock just to slot into so once it's in place and it's adjusted correctly it can't move like i say with the x4 it would just it'd move all over the shop all the time so one day it'd be right the next minute it, it wouldn't and i know a lot of people have a lot of people have never had any issues with the x4 uh, visor but i have had so many issues just with the pin lockers especially you know because i like to ride in this kind of weather you know it's cold and snowy it's so frustrating when uh, when your pin lock lets you down like uh, it got to the point where i was sick of um, mentioning the word pin lock I just moaned about it too much. No one likes to listen to a moan. Is it? So first impressions, yeah, the visor is so much better. It, it clicks into place better when you open it up and sticks up there and stays up there. Whereas again, the X4, you kind of, you kind of like dancing with it all the time. It works its way down, and it's it's just a, a bit of a nightmare. Whereas that, it's solid. Look, the field of view is so wide the peaks all been completely redesigned i don't know if you can see the cutout at the top that's been designed to allow airflow and stop any form of drag thing is as well when you when you go from a normal helmet to a peaked helmet you can notice that there's something straight away of course depending on your bike genre and what screen you've got on the bike like on this for instance today there's going to be no drag whatsoever because this screen in front of me is taking everything off me so it's only when you first start wearing one that you notice the drag or not necessarily drag but something there's something there yeah first impressions it's quiet it's very 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 comfortable all the internal are completely different the vents and ventilation is completely different the only thing that's the same is the material and the shelf that's the, made out of the same material that Araya are renowned for it is obviously top of the range this is um retails at 600 pound for this one i've got on my head the plain ones and 700 pound for the ones with graphics i'll put the equivalent euro prices on screen now peak is adjustable as well so you can angle it down and all you need to do is just um there's one screw on either side of this model instead of the two screws on either side on the x4 this new mechanism as well it's so much better to get the visor off or to swap your visor on the x4 you need you have to take off the um, peak which you need a screwdriver or a coin to be able to take the two pins out there two pins out you take the peak off and you take the visor off and then put in reverse to get everything back on whereas this one I've just tried it in the garage. As far as I can see, you still have to remove the peak to get the visor off, but you need no tools. There's a couple of pins on the side, either side. You just push them, pick the visor up, and the the, the peak just goes, just clicks off. And then you can pop the visor off without even having to use a screwdriver or a coin. It sounds weird, but it just feels like there's space inside the lid. Quality feels absolutely top notch. Well, it is. It's, it's it's one of the best you can buy. You know, got a built-in air deflector as well on your nose. It just sits slightly above your nose. I've not had a single a single bit on the screen, and we are very cold. I have got to say, I am very impressed. It is, it's lovely. And like I said, with the the only thing with the with the X4, you know, the lids very comfortable very well balanced not noisy look really well you know it's absolutely top notch so it's going to keep you safe first and foremost but like i say the uh, visor just the, the visor and pin lock combo always always had me moaning and i think this has fixed it and if it has then this is the perfect perfect adventure lid Ooh, we are foggy. Yeah. Let's get some fog lights on. Oh, it's gone mega foggy. We're low on fuel as well. 28 miles remaining. Oh dear. If, like me, you've been hanging on for the X5 coming out, you will not be disappointed when it when it does finally land. I think it's due to land imminently, actually. 
you will not be disappointed. I'm not sure um, what the graphics are, what the availability is like for the graphics. Um, and you know, I didn't actually think I'd like a white lid, and I quite like this being white. I know it's going off to be custom painted, but I might see if I can keep as much of the white as possible. I can't see at the moment of any negatives. I suppose the cost of it's a negative, but you know, you are, you do know that you are getting the absolute top of the range lid in the Tor X5. Right, folks, I'm going to go. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you are in the market for a Tor X5. You will not be disappointed, I can promise you that. I'm very, very, very happy with this. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it comes back from being custom painted. I've been Richie Vida, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on another one sometime soon. Be good, be careful, and be kind.